she's certainly not crazy or weak or whatever for feeling what she's feeling. There is, there's good and bad, true? Yeah. And that's why you, you've got these warring factions within you, okay? And what you're saying is just one overshadows the other so much that she shouldn't have any confusion, true? Partly, yeah. I, I feel that, you know, I would say <clears throat> the first week after we had met him, we, we did not like him. And what did you see that was a red flag to you? Basically, the way he talked to her and the way he treated her. Did he put you down? Uh, yes, he put me down a lot. He was very verbally abusive. What would he say to you? He would call her names. He would call me names. He would tell me that he wouldn't call me fat, but I was the biggest girl that he's ever been with. Just stuff like that. He always, you know, put me down to make me feel bad about myself so he could feel better about himself. Okay, but why were you willing to accept that sort of behavior? I felt like it was pretty much the best that I could do and that I, des I deserved to be in a relationship like that. Why? What, what do you believe about yourself that makes you believe that you deserve to be punished? When I you know, met him, I was trying to help him. He didn't really have his dad or his mom or any family when he was growing up. So I felt that I needed to take care of him. And I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with him in the process. And I just felt like, I just felt, I don't know, better about myself when I could help him. I hate it when I sound like a shrink. <laughs> I do. But I think you just said something very profound. You said, I was really helping him. And you meant to say, I just fell in love with him. But you said, I fell in love with it. Yes, I did. And I do think that was kind of a Freudian slip. I fell in love with it. Yeah. I fell in love with helping. I fell in love with fixing. Mm -hmm. I fell in love with, you know, kind of coming in and fixing this bird with a broken wing. Yeah. 